Hi guys! This is Maria Ozawa. Welcome back to my channel. And today it's gonna be another Q&A about my type of what kind of guys that I like or what kind of guys that will turn me on and different kinds of like love life that I had before and it's gonna be all about how I respect guys or how I look into guys or what I dig in guys so it's gonna be another different new part of me that you guys will see and I hope you guys will like my type also so let's get started Um, kibishi, which means strict. I like guys who's very strict to himself and to me also, and have um, the straight vision towards work. Eh, I think 50 50 because, of course, like I don't want to be rude, but then when you have interest in someone, it has to be someone that has your taste or your type so whoever will interest me will I, I, I think I'm gonna first look at their whole outside part like the face and like their style and what they wear and then if that interests me more by talking to that person I think the personality will come second <laughs> Well, this is really hard because me, myself, I have a very strong personality and I'm very straightforward and very verbal. So if a guy is more like, you know, kind of like in the soft area, like not too, not too vocal and not too um, straightforward, I think that's the best that will fit my character. But the person that I like will always be like verbal like me too because I believe when you have a relationship with, with somebody and you have like a fight like verbally not physically but like or argument or anything I'm the type who wants to like clear it out say everything and then whatever he or she likes we could talk about that so if somebody is like the more verbal they are the better but <laughs> if, if they're too verbal we get into a fight so maybe somewhere in between Like, I like guys who's not too buff, big, but somewhere in between because not too thin also. So, um, the body line. Well, it's, it doesn't have to be like a bodybuilder, but then as long as they have like a little bit of muscle and like four packs or six packs, okay. <laughs> I'm 5.6. So anything taller than that, or I like wearing high heels. So if they're about um, seven something, I think that's about the fair height. I like someone who will, yeah, text me all the time. Not all the time, but like check up on me. That's cute. Um, the question was about if I like guys who's like deadly man type or kind of like girly, girly guy type, like me type. Of course, I like the deadly man. Mm, when they suddenly become shy, like. I don't know, this is hard, but um, they act very tough usually, but then when we're only together, they become really like um, snow. But anyways, I like guys who's like, they become shy. That's cute. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> if there is. <laughs> depends on the borderline because I don't like guys who will always like order around but then I do like guys who I think that I would like to take care of like 
like for example they act tough outside but then when we're together he would be like um oh can you do this for me can you do that for me and then i think it's cute when it comes to a point that's like little like if someone's like oh can you i don't know make food for me do this or make the bath i think that's cute but then if it goes over the borderline it's like oh, you do it on yourself so that's really hard well i've learned when i was young and of course now busy and um making money because before i used to be busy and i was making money now it's different i like guys who go out and businessmen i got into a big fight with my ex-boyfriend like pre like i don't know how maybe 10 years ago we it was a huge fight and then i forgot what the reason was but then it got escalated and then we were at the house and then i used to um collect um champagne bottles at the house and then I think at one point he noticed that he couldn't win the fight verbally so he got that champagne and then he hit me hard in the arm <laughs> and then <laughs> that was the worst worst thing that ever happened and so of course I broke up with him but Right now, it's like a memory, like when I was young. Business-wise, I try to go out with people who has um, their own business or like any anything to do work-wise that has more experience than me. So whenever I I date a guy, that means I respect that person first, and then when they have like lots of like business proposal from different places, business travel or whatever that goes with business. I always try to like learn from that person and then I try to like do it on my own also. Mm, I like both. Like I want that two in one. Let's take it what? 15. Not bad. Not exactly because um, I think when it comes to that kind of like situation, it depends on the feeling. So if that person isn't really good at it or if they think I'm not good at it, they could always like, well, you don't really talk about it. But then if you like that person, that comes second. So I don't really, um, how do I say this? I'm not really picky in that part. <laughs> it depends, but uh, when we're both busy or like when I'm doing bar business, um, it's really hard like when I come home or when he comes home from work, which is like 2, 3, 4 a.m. and I usually drunk. So maybe in the morning is better, but then the mood is more at night, I think. Mm, I think the baseline never changed. I always liked the manly type. But before, it was, yeah, manly type, I like manly type. But then there were, it was more of like, yanta, like, more playful. But now I, I'm really looking to, um, Seriously. I hate it. That's the only one thing that I never did in my life. Like if it's just a girlfriend, I've I've yeah, done a lot of bad things. But if if it becomes wife and has a family, I would never cross the line. work busy like like I said before I would choose a guy who who's in that business or very um, how do I say this um, person who is uh, so focus on work too much 
So we get into a fight and then we both will end up choosing work. So before when I was younger, I got proposed by this guy that I dated for four years. But at the end of the day, we couldn't quit our jobs. And then I didn't want to quit my job. He didn't want to quit his job. So we kind of like fell apart. I don't cry. I will get very, very, very mad. And like, like I said, verbally, like I could never win a fight with a guy. I know that because I'm a girl. But when it comes to like talking, I think... I could get more intention, <laughs> intentional, kind of. So, but one time or a few times, I cried because not because I'm sad and lonely, but I cry because um, kuyashi. But not to that person, like mononi. Like I would like see my phone. Obviously, I would throw my phone when I get pissed off. Or like some like something around me, but then you know actually in Shinjuku we have a bathing center, so <laughs> I will go to a bathing center, and then I'll just I don't need to hit the ball, but I'll just go there and just all get all my stress relief there. Ah, I think so. I think so. If I get married, I think I should be more softer and as like a wife and soon to be mother or like maybe I know I have to change. So at one point, I think I will try to change for that person. Advice? Eh? <laughs> de show? Um. All the single ladies out there. Um, well, especially in Japan, we have this culture about women being a little bit weaker than guys, and guys will always look down on you, but never give up on yourself and believe in yourself and stay strong. And just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you have to step three steps before the guys. You could always go give and take, you could go sometimes behind. And then go like forward and then you should always take care of yourself first and your first proprio is yourself and not that person so um, I know it's hard to find a um, nice perfect person but just hang in there and believe in yourself and just have fun So anyways, that was my Q&A about love life and my type and my history of what kind of person I dated and I hope you guys liked this video. Maybe it was too serious, I don't know, but maybe you guys um, got to know me better by um, hearing this Q&A and I hope you liked it and I hope you will hit the like button, subscribe and share this video so everybody could see this video and I hope to see you guys very very soon in my next YouTube channel. Good luck guys, have fun, don't rush and just believe in yourself. Mwah. Bye!